Hi, everyone. We're headed into a deeper exploration of Section A. While Week 2 officially begins on Monday, you can get started early if you'd like. We're going to go deeply into Section A, all parts of it. And then you're going to have an opportunity to practice with A9 with your peers. It's important that you understand that when you submit your Section A review, that you are submitting the entire A section. And it is the longest one of the entire rubric. But take heart, while it will take some time to complete, it will be something that's extremely worthwhile. You're going to find a lot of value in it. And I really recommend that you do this, specifically with Section A, but then as you follow along, narrow in and focus on a singular criteria as you write your review. However, also understand what the other criteria are so that you make sure that you are not overlapping and giving the same advice or noting the same thing in each part. I found that that was my struggle when I took the poker class that I was trying to write a whole lot on each single one, but I found that I was overlapping. So that is my big piece of advice to you is to make sure that you are only discussing each part of the criteria for each part of section A. Once you're done with all of section A, you're going to submit the entire thing. And I encourage you to take a look at some feedback examples. We do not need to reinvent the wheel here. So you can look at some wonderful examples so that you can use them in your practice. As always, we are here to help you and we hope that you have a great week. Thank you very much.